dear students welcome to my channel elite maths class today i am here again with another topic another part of mat uh, matrices this is actually the third part today i am going to discuss matrix multiplication and its properties that is the properties of matrix multiplication in my uh, last three videos i have discussed what is matrix and uh, different properties of matrices today let us see how to find product of two matrices or how to multiply two matrices matrix multiplication is a little bit different uh, for the ordinary multiplication and in my uh, last video of determinant i have defined multiplication of two determinants it is almost similar to almost similar but there are differences also because in the determinants number of row in any determinant number of row equal to number of columns but in a matrix number of row may not be equal to number of columns so first let us see how to define or how matrix multiplication is defined for example let us take two matrices capital a and b a is a matrix say it is of order m by n and b is another matrix of order say it is uh, p by q a is a matrix of order m by n and b is a matrix of order p by q now the question is does a b exist or b a exist that is the question is if any two matrices are given can we find the product a b or can we find the product b a or can we find both this is the question but matrix multiplication uh, for finding the matrix multiplication the first thing we have to check whether the two matrices are conformable for mat matrix multiplication that is can we find the product a b or can we find the product b a for that the thing is that to find a b to find if a and b two matrices are given then to find the product a b what the condition is what the necessary condition is number of columns of a here it is n must be equal to numbers of number of sorry number of rows of b rows of b this is the condition to find matrix multiplication that is to find a uh, to find a b for the product a b that is when we are multiplying a with the matrix b this is the first necessary condition to be fulfilled that is before finding product we have to check whether the condition for matrix multiplication is satisfied or not what is the condition first check whether number of columns of the matrix a is equal to number of rows of the matrix b if this condition is satisfied then only we can find the product a b next i am coming how to find the product now see another thing say the matrix a is given it is of order m by n we are finding the product with another matrix b whose order is n by p now see here i have taken here two matrices a and b such that the number of columns of the matrix n and number of rows of the matrix b is n these two quantities are equal that is we can find the product a b and what will be the resultant matrix their resultant will be another matrix a, c it is of of order m by p see the number of row of the first matrix and the number of columns of the second matrix these will be the order of the resultant matrix clear so this is the condition when two mat matrices are conformable for product that is when the product a b exist or b a exist for for finding b a it is also the same condition for by finding b a number of columns of b must be equal to the number of rows of b then only we can find the product 
now let us see how to find this is the condition the most important uh, for any two matrices before finding their product we must have to check this condition whether this condition is satisfied or not if this condition is satisfied only then we can find the product now let us see how to find the product in a very simple way let us see how to find the product or multiplication of two matrices to understand the product of, um, or the multiplication very easily let us take two square matrices let a is a matrix first i am taking 3 by 3 say so is a matrix of order a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 and another matrix b of order same order 3 by 3 say so it is x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 x3 y3 z3 it is of order 3 by 3 see here the number of columns in the matrix a is 3 and number of call rows in the matrix b is also 3 so that is this implies here a b exist now how to find the product for these two matrices to find the product then a b what will be a b a b equal to a into b as the condition of multiplication is satisfied so in this case in this case we can find a b now see very carefully how to find the product of these two matrices this is of order 3 by 3 this is also of order 3 by 3 here number of rows uh, number of columns equal to number of rows of the second matrix so the product is exist product exist now see how to find the product to understand the fact very easily you just remember that row column that is you mu multiply each elements to the corresponding elements of the second matrix how to multiply row of the first matrix and column of the second matrix this will be the first element of the resultant matrix that is you have to multiply every element to the corresponding element of the column of the second matrix so first first element into first element then sum second element into second element then sum third element into third element so this is the rule row into column that is row of the first matrix into column of the second matrix then sum that is what we have to do we have to multiply the corresponding elements then sum so now see the resultant matrix here first row i am multiplying the first row with first column uh, with their corresponding elements first element a1 so it will be a1 x1 plus b1 x2 b1 x2 plus c1 x3 first row with first column first element of the resultant matrix is obtained now with the first row again we have to multiply now with the the first one is done now with the first row with second row second column so what will be the resultant element it will be a1 y1 plus b1 y2 plus c1 y3 second element of the first row of the resultant matrix is obtained now again with first row now you have to multiply with the third column of the second matrix so what will be the resultant element it will be a1 z1 plus b1 z2 plus c1 z3 so the first row of the resultant matrix is completed what is the rule row into column then sum that is we have to multiply the corresponding elements in the first one i am repeating again a1 x1 first row first row sorry first element first element plus second element second element b1 x2 plus third element third element complete now with the first row again you have to multiply the corresponding elements of the second column then sum multiply the corresponding elements of first row with third column then sum similarly 
now start with second row the process with the first row is complete now start with second row so second row first column it will be a2 x1 plus b2 x2 plus c2 x3 first first element of the second row is complete now a2 y1 plus b2 y2 plus c2 y3 second row second column now second row with third column it will be a2 z1 plus b2 z2 plus c2 z3 second row complete now with the third row of the first matrix third row first column so it will be a3 x1 plus b3 x2 plus c3 x3 now with the second uh, sorry third row with second column a3 y1 plus b3 y2 plus c3 y3 third row third column a3 z1 plus b3 z2 c3 z3 so what is the order of the resultant matrix it is 3 by 3 see the number here it is 3 the number of columns in the second matrix 3 this will be the resultant matrix so this is the process of rule of multiplication how to find the product so first thing before finding the product we have to check whether two matrices are multiplicable or not then this is the process of finding the multiplication you just remember this technique just the, we have to multiply row with the column row with the columns means the corresponding elements will be multiplied then sum with the see this is the first first element into first element product second element into second third into third then sum this is the process we have to multiply first row with the column of the second matrix in a similar way we can multiply any two matrices of any order subject to the condition if the number of rows of first column is equal to, uh, sorry number of columns of the first row equal to number of rows of the second matrix let us see another example which are not square matrices two square matrices are always multiplicable here see an example let a equal to 2 3 4 1 what is the order of this matrix it is 2 by 2 b another matrix say it is 2 3 4 3 3 0 minus 1 so what is the order it is 2 by 3 now the question is can we find a b or b a see here for finding a b to finding a b the number of columns of a number of columns of a equal to what it is 2 number of rows of b what is it it is 2 both are equal so a b exist for this example we can find a b next time finding a b now see can we find b a for finding b a we must have number of columns of b it is 3 and next we must have number of rows of a it is 2 so here 3 not equal to 2 that is b a does not exist so this is the condition when two matrices are given before finding their product we must have to check whether they are conformable for multiplication or conformable for product for that what is the condition number of columns of the first row must be equal to number of rows of the second matrix number of columns of the first matrix must be equal to number of columns of the number of rows of the second matrix so here for a number of column is 2 for b number of row is 2 that is a b exist now see in the same example we can't find b a as this condition is not satisfied now let us find a b to find a b 
ए इज द मैट्रिक्स टू थ्री फोर वन इन टू बी इज द मैट्रिक्स टू थ्री फोर थ्री जीरो माइनस वन इट इज ऑफ ऑर्डर टू बाई टू इट इज ऑफ ऑर्डर टू बाई थ्री नाउ सी द रेजल्ट मैट्रिक्स सो वाट विल बी रेजल्ट मैट्रिक्स सी अगेन दिस equal to this this is the necessary condition for finding the product it is satisfied so the resultant matrix will be of order 2 by 3 now let us see so what is the rule of finding the product row into column then sum row into column then sum so the first element we are getting 2 into 2 first element into first element 4 plus 3 into 3 9 first element complete now with the first two we have to multiply the second column so 2 into 3 6 plus 3 into 0 0 second element complete with the first two again we have to multiply the third column 2 for the 8 plus 3 into minus 1 minus 3 next first two complete next with the second row we have to multiply the first column for 2s are 8 plus 3 for 3s are 12 plus 0 for 4s are 16 minus 1 second row complete now see what is the order of this matrix it is 2 by 3 See here, first number of row in the first matrix two, number of columns in the second matrix three. These will be the order of the resultant matrix. So what? Finally, we are getting. Finally, we are getting this equal to. It is thirteen, six, five, eleven, twelve, fifteen. This is the value of A B. so in this example we can't find ba ba does not exist so this happens in matrix multiplication only but in simple arithmetic 2 into 3 equal to 6 3 into 2 equal to 6 or you can find say x plus 2 into x minus 3 you also can find x minus 3 into x plus 2 but in matrix multiplication this property is not satisfied this property is also called matrix uh, commutative property i am coming to the properties also so in matrix multiplication you can find one sided product that is you can find ab but in the same case you can't find ab or you may uh, you may find ba but you can find ab or you may find both ab and ba but their values may not be equal in simple arithmetic see 2 into 3 equal to 6 2 into 3 equal to 6 also 3 into 2 equal to 6 this is in simple arithmetic product is multiplication is commutative but matrix multiplication is not commutative now let us see some properties of matrix multiplication the so this one is the first property now let us see the properties of matrix multiplication properties of matrix multiplication first one it is not commutative matrix multiplication is not commutative that is ab not equal to ba in general in general in the previous example we have seen that ab exist but ba does not exist in some cases if both exist their values may not be equal that is matrix multiplication is not commutative but matrix multiplication is associative matrix multiplication is associative that is for any three matrices a b a b c this is same matrix multiplication is associative it is distributive also 
distributive property is satisfied by matrix multiplication that is a into b plus c if the product exists this will be equal to a b plus a c the fourth one is zero divisors this is a new property there may exist matrices a b such that a is not a zero matrix b is not a zero matrix but the product a b equal to zero this is the case it only happens in matrix multiplication also in uh, vector, uh, multiplication of vectors this property hold what is zero divisors i am coming to there are two types of zero divisors left zero divisors and right zero divisors first see the property if the condition is such that there are two matrices a and b and we can find the product a b that is the condition for matrix multiplication is satisfied but both the matrices are non zero matrices but their product is a zero matrices then one is called left divisor of zero another is called right divisor of zero coming to the point what is left uh, zero divisor and right zero divisors this property is called zero divisors so first we must have to satisfy this condition now let us see let the product ab exists and the value of the product is zero but and a not equal to zero then a is called left zero divisor of the product ab also let b not equal to zero then b is called right divisor of ab so these are two new things so uh, divisors by zero first thing this may happen the both the matrices a and b not equal to zero but their product may be zero now if this is the condition a b the product of the two matrices a b is zero such that the matrix a is non zero then a is called left divisor of zero and if the uh, reverse case b not equal to zero b not equal to zero but the product is zero then b is called the right divisor of the product a b so these are the two new things and matrix multiplication is also a new thing which uh, there are before the multiplication we have to check whether the multiplication exists or not that is the product exists or not then the rule of multiplication how to find the how to find the product we, we have to multiply the corresponding row of the first matrix to the corresponding column of the second matrix and what is the rule multiply the corresponding element and then find the sum thus we can find the product of any two matrices hope matrix multiplication is clear you go through the properties with some examples in my next video i will defend some more um, types of matrices and some more properties thank you for watching if you like this video please share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much